Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the most critical de dimension in room acoustics, and it's kind of the forgotten dimension. I, we probably could change the title to the forgotten dimension. But we've got height, width, length, obviously. WHL is the acronym we like to use. So width, height, length keeps everything in a you know symmetrical balance. But ceiling height is something nobody thinks about. Now, how do I know that? Well, I talk to 40, 50 people a week, 200 for 17 years. So we got great data. And most of it comes from room form, but we also do a lot of phone calls, schedule appointments from those room forms. That's a system we use. So if you want us to look at your room, fill out the room analysis tab on our website, submit it, get into the system, schedule the call. You get a 15 minute free call. Once I have the data in front of me, I can best advise you on what direction to go. If I don't have data, I can't help you, okay? Data and budget, those are the two things we gotta have. So, we talk to people about it, I always have to ask for it. On the room forms, a lot of times, people don't even put the height. And there's a reason for that. And I think eight foot is, you know, the ceiling height that we live in in North America. It's our reality. So it's become a constant, it's become a given wasn't that way in the 30s and 40s. Maybe in the 50s and 60s it started changing. I don't remember, but it doesn't matter. So just, you know, there's lack of importance given to the eight-foot ceiling height. When in acoustics, it's the most important room dimension. But yet nobody pays any attention to it. If they do, it's lip service. Well, you can't use an, uh, lip service as a strategy in room acoustics. So, it's always the smallest dimension, not always, but 95% of the time, it's the smallest of the three. If it's eight foot, we always use, have more width than eight foot. We definitely have more length than eight foot. So, when we have the smallest dimension, we're going to have the largest low frequency pressure issues. Speed of sound, eight foot, 140 cycles, 70 on this side, 210 on this side, both, which you don't want. All right, nine foot, gets a little better. You can start to see relationships here. There's 20 hertz difference per foot. Look at here. So it's, you know, gets narrower, but it's predictable and consistent. Then you got the fundamentals and the harmonics to worry about. With current technology, we need six to eight inches of cabinet depth, panel depth, call it whatever you want to, it's depth, to go after these issues successfully. Foam won't do the whole thing. So when you, when you need this kind of depth, you have a floor to ceiling requirement because that's where the problem's coming from, the floor to ceiling dimension. So you can treat the ceiling or you can treat the floor, or sometimes you have to treat both. Depends on the usage of the room. If it's a drum room, lots of energy, eight foot ceilings, you gotta treat both. So it's usage dependent, just like the room is pressure dependent. Everything's dependent on everything else. That's what people don't understand. And they make observations and comments and everything about one frame of the whole film. And that's what makes everything wrong. Because that one frame is dependent on the ending of the film and the beginning and all the little subframes in between. What do we got left? Vocal rooms, way different than drum rooms. We just kind of discussed that on a pressure basis. The room only sees energy. Remember that. It doesn't care what you want. It only sees energy and it reacts to that energy, but it's predictable and consistent in the way it reacts. Thank God, because anger as an emotion is about the most unpredictable thing in human beings I've ever seen. Most critical distance, floor to ceiling, don't forget it. It'll always come back to haunt you all the way through the mids and the lows. Hope this helps, thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.